Okay, time for something new and uh, not so new after all. It's uh, the Happy Model EP1T CXO receiver, uh, 2.4 gigahertz. I got a batch of those here, and of course, I've already sold it up, not to bother you too much. No uh, shrink tubing really applied, it's just covered because then we can be sure not to short use it anyway. Um, I think we'll jump right into this and uh, well have a look at the smallest and uh, newest latest edition of uh, EP1 which definitely definitely is a fine thing to have so nothing is as light and small as uh, advanced as this one it's one of my favorites for light builds and uh, performance me uh, have always been in good performance I got it at hands now I will um, wire it up with my small little rig here and we we'll fire it up and see what happens. So nothing special. Uh, connecting the pins, I uh, have a look and keep in mind this little thing here, I don't know if this is visible, but I hope to get better focus on the last videos. This thing here is a boot bridge, so you can simply just know the ground is there. It's a hint on that. So let's see. Well, the flash ones, let's do it fine, I guess. <laughs> let's see. I would assume this to run for 60 seconds, which is pretty boring. We will have recorded and now we fast forward. Worth mentioning, uh, currently version, uh, I know, no, Express LOS version 3.3, .3, release candidate 2 is out, and that's what we're gonna flash. Um, well, I've still got Configurator 1.6, release candidate 1, but well, that will do, I guess. Come on now. I don't wanna waste my, don't wanna waste my youth on that. Get going. Go, go on, come on now, Flash! Come on! Urgh. Ah, there we go. AP mode. Okay, let's flash it then. Okay, let's see if we can do something magical with it. You can see the configurator here is running wild. And I will have a look at my wireless connections. There is something called Express LRS RX. You won't see that because just selected it now and it's outside of this view you see here comes the receiver and the EP1 uh, TCXO comes with 301 free flash that's okay um, ready to roll so default settings it, it has it on its own network well now we will go and find that thing uh, let's see we will go here model and that's what we want to have of course <laughs> we want the ep1 is this, this yes i guess must be this one nothing else looks like it does it no must be this okay then we'll flash with wi-fi and stuff it with a old binding phrase i want home wi-fi network included Switch down to 30 seconds because I don't want to waste my youth, as mentioned, and then I will go for this. 1001 uh, is the one to try to. I don't think this will work. No, it won't work. And it will fail by now because um, it's not connected. Well, it says timeout. No, it doesn't say that. <laughs> doesn't figure it oh boy so what I'm missing currently is um, just to build the firmware so I can pull it over and uh, well, that's a bit oh well pain in the behind so we will abort at this a stage and retry with another option let's see if 
is this one going now? Yes. Let's start up again. Okay. Unfortunately, that was not a success. That's a bit. You see, we gotta pick this one because first time, right? My bad. I was too confident to say yes. We have it here. We got the IP. Nope, we haven't. Uh, they don't work out right now. So we do it again by hand. That's no problem because we got a solution like built here. And that's good. So we're happy more once more. Okay. And it's this one. We want to just whatever we want. Settings. It has recovered that. Okay. And we say not build on flash. No thanks. Um, I would just would like to, just to build. Where is the build button? Where's the build button, by the way? Oh boy. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? So you see, I run into this for you, and you guys don't get too frustrated. Now, perhaps it was my fault because the build button only appears here. Somebody has made their mind, and it was clearly not me. <laughs> it makes totally sense because you know, the other ones are connected, and uh, the new one isn't. So we're just building it by uh, hard drive and there we go let me hit the, the update window here uh, and pull it over hit update and it starts working 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 flashing I see that's it it should be Success, it said. Let's see about that. So, it should appear down here somewhere in a second. Hopefully. <coughs> Currently, it's still um, waiting for a connection on the tra with the transmitter, which it, of course, won't find because no transmitter is on. And, well, 30 seconds, uh, some, well, feels like eternity sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, access point mode has been entered, and it should... Ah, oh, there it is! Show up here. So, basically, if you just hit the build button on the EP1 uh, TCXO, then you're good to go. Hmm. Something has happened. It's disappearing. It's rebooting. I don't know. I have fixed... Um, yeah, we can ramble about this. I can cut it up later, maybe. What I've, what I've been experiencing is that the um, receivers sometimes reboot while they are in access point mode. Just to keep this cycle of binding and uh, stuff maybe alive. Maybe it's just a failure and I'm just interpreting this false, but uh, that's how it looks like. So it will appear in about some seconds again, and that's about now. It has entered. Go. Yeah, 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 fine. If he won. And basically, that's it. So, so yeah, the EP1 TCXO does what it does, and it's flashable and works brilliantly as long as you do it right and don't hope to Wi Fi it straight on. Because in my case, as you saw, that didn't work. Anyways, just build it. Drag over the firmware and you're good to go next time you can use the Wi-Fi and uh, flash it. That's it for this time. Thanks for watching. We'll be seeing you again next time when I flash the next thing and next hardware I'll get along to. So yeah, be seeing ya. Keep flying. Bye-bye. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. That would be awesome.